Okay, so I think the uh, first thing I want to do is rotate the entire radio so I have a little more access to the <coughs> tuning parts here. adjustments <coughs> we're going to be changing. There's two screws here. One is going to tune the antenna and the other is going to tune the oscillator. Remember that little piece of wire there? A little black piece of wire. A funny little bend around here. Okay. Don't know how well you can see this on camera. Hey, you know what? I'll use the close up camera. Let's go through this quickly. There's the antenna, of course. The honking resistor. This coil. That coil is that coil right there. You see two windings on it. The second winding, the secondary side, is operating in parallel with the tuning capacitor. And down here, these coils, this is the oscillator. And the adjusting there, it's the other tuning capacitor. You see the signal from here to follow up, 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 and look. That's that wire that's wrapped around the other one. That's it. So, so that little wire, which looks like a big mistake, if you were to take that wire off, this one here, where, 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 where you go, there. That guy right there. Take that off. No oscillator signal being fed into the radio. <laughs> Very innocent looking thing. Turns out to be a major electronic component of the radio. So we're going to adjust the oscillator here and make sure that the dial is correct. That's our objective here. Listening to 1010. Pretty sure. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my oscillator here. I won't rely on the station in case I'm wrong about it. Feed a signal into the antenna wire on my oscillator and set this up at uh, I'll dial the radio right to the center here. Right there. Okay, so we're right on one uh, one thousand or a million cycles actually. One megahertz right on. I have a little bit of parallax going on here. Come on. There. Okay, we're right on. Dead on. And so I'll tune the signal generator to the same. One million. Okay, it's not 
it's showing up because it's just not strong enough. Okay, let me... Uh, let's try this. Very, very faint. Okay, now we can hear it. That's 950 when it should be a million. So we're going to tune the oscillator now so that the radio does receive a million at that point. Which one of these are the oscillator? Which one of these is the oscillator? Not that one. Wait a minute. It has to be this one. So I can see that uh, funny little lead coming right off that capacitor. So this has to be the oscillator here. Oscillator trimmer. Ouch. Whack my head. Oh, sorry about my arm there. But not too much excitement anyway. Now. So what I'll do is I'll turn up the signal generator frequency. Oh, that's a really bad camera angle for you, isn't it? Make it even worse on me here. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do now, turn up my signal generator towards a million, and then tune it back in with the trimmer. What? Can't move it much with this trimmer. Now I've got the trimmer wide open now. Eighty-seven, not quite a million. Hmm. Hmm. So I've reduced the capacity of the trimmer uh, to its minimum, and so I can't go any further. And the oscillator is only reaching a frequency which sets the radio at nine eighty-seven instead of a million the dial there. You could bend the pointer further. <laughs> I, started, I bent it earlier, I could just bend it further over. Let me think about that for a second. What I'll do is I'll set this to a million. It's a megahertz. And we'll see how far off the dial really is here.
much. Not by much. Is that pointer really straight? I'd say it isn't. I'd say I could bend that pointer further. It's funny, it depends how you look at it. But we're talking about just a tiny amount. Okay, I'm bending the pointer here. With the camera there. Parallax error there that I'm overdoing it. There, I took it off my exterior antenna, which I should have done earlier. Okay, so that's a million. That's a million. That's good. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. Now, no hum. No hum during all this whole long process. No hum whatsoever. So, what is causing the hum reported in this radio? I'm going to guess it's interference. It's interference from something like a, uh, a little power supply or something like that. I don't think it's from the radio itself at all. Hmm. And of course, we'd have to have it back in its uh, home environment and uh, hunt down what the hum would be. But my guess is it's a little power supply, a little wall work a little switching power supply. I have them in my home and a lot of this noise you're hearing in the radio is from those things in my own home. And uh, one of the worst offenders is my office computer which is 25 feet from here. Not when it's operating but when it's in sleep mode. When it's in sleep mode it puts out a whopper of a signal. A pulsing signal. <laughs> Sounds like that. It took me a long time to, to, to hunt it down. I just didn't think a sleeping computer could do something like that. But, uh, so, you know, I think that's what the problem is uh, that the uh, owner was encountering. Um, so, not much I can do about that here. Radio's tuned up really good. It seems to be working just fine. Reception is good. Components are all new. Uh, whoever uh, put this radio together did a good job on it, no doubt about it. Uh, too bad it doesn't have a loop antenna. That would be just maybe a little bit better than the long wire antenna uh, that it has. But uh, So be it. I think that's about all I can do for this guy. So, I'm going to set him aside for now. I won't put him back in the cabinet yet have a discussion with the owner about what uh, what could be making the noise. He's got to have another AM radio in his house somewhere that he could use to experiment a little bit and uh, go hunting. Just as I did in my house. I took a little pocket AM radio and I went hunting uh, to find the source of these things. And when they're really powerful, they're hard to find because they're everywhere. And as you walk around with your little radio, you're swinging the antenna in different directions. You get the signals going up and down. It's not easy to hunt these things down in your house. So I'll leave it at that. Thanks a lot for watching. 
and uh, we'll see you soon on the next video.